RTE One. of a cock miner on that bag caddy, Mick. What do you think? Huh? He has everything. Yeah. He's too many notions. He's a fair weather hurler, no guts. It's on match of the day, ought to be. Did you see him out there today? He's good, though. He could be. That's what gets me. Of all the lads that I've had through my hands, he just doesn't give a damn. Division 2, Blackburn Rovers 2, Grimsby 2, and Bradford City 4, Millwall Mill. And just the one match played in Scotland today, in fact. Uh, Ranger we watched them there, man. Is the show in the tees ready? Thank you, Phil. Yeah? Did you win? And the Irish yeah, scored score a goal and four points. One. What was the score? You're more in your line to think about the leading, sir. in the shop. Look, I was just telling Phil I can't, all right? I want a few quid until Tuesday. Get you back when I sign on. The old man's in the shop, OK? I wouldn't ask you if I didn't need it. Oh, yeah. Hey, you. Hello, Sergeant. Well? Well, why? Well, did you win? For the match. Not in the sweepstakes. We won by five points. Did you score? Of course. One four. Mitchell's town in the final, so. Hello, boy. You could have heard all that, G. Just. Come on, Willie. Later, will he? Bye. Don't have me a picture of Shining still. Tempered in the fire. Hey, man, what's up? I'll chuck you down. Like an old country. Dirty old town. He's back from London. Dirty old town. Dream the dream by the old 
What's your man? Bill, Bill Kelly. Kelly. I nearly carried that to straighten the arms off. Drink? Yeah. Dirty old town. Didn't get it. Dirty old town. 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 Uh, come on, Otis, we're after time. What to do with the fakes, Martin? The man who always says matches. I didn't say none. Wheezy on it. That's the last meet till Tuesday. Ah, oh, Martin, you never change. Yep. You sure? Yeah. Thanks. What about me? You have enough until Tuesday. Watch it. He left the guards on the top of his bike. Thanks. <laughs> Why you bring the guards on the top of his Hold the back bed. Quick, quick. Come on, it's my father. Play. Come on, hold your hand. 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 Come on, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, man. That's sick, I nearly a whole pint inside. Didn't I tell you to work, Sean? Didn't I tell you? A whole fucking pint. Oh, I know, I'm home now. You want the beauty. What? And then there's Greta. I run to be alone. Every day she comes home with shock stuffed with newspapers. Goes off upstairs into a room and locks the door. She's a fire hazard. And then there's Mick downstairs. Do you remember Mick Quinn? He was in the Finsbury Park squad. I you must. Do you remember the teeth? You want to see the stairs of them? <laughs> he has a band now. Come, you can tune his guitar. What's it called? Oh, yeah, the Saints and Scholars. They've been interviewing the enemy this week. They're brutal. I think they're good. Finding Claire demo. You don't have them downstairs. We're making a record at all of I still think they're good, then. I suppose they're all right. Come on. He's up there, boy. You were saying about your man in London? That makes a pretentious prick. He smokes so much dope, because he's no what he's saying half the time. Sounds familiar. Come on, let's get some fresh air. Oh, hang on a minute, Marge. Are you going to have to go for it? No, I'm staying for the car. I'll go up with them. See ya. Are you getting up at all? What sort of an hour were you coming in at last night? Cavorting around town with the rest of the couriers, I suppose? I was hoping Willie's doing some revision. Hanging around street corners. You'll have a rude awakening coming to you after the leaving, sir. Commandant McCarthy's wife was at the hairdressers this morning. She was saying Richard was home from Dublin for the weekend, driving a brand new car. 
He'd make a fine catch for Deirdre Richard would. In with the bank and her with the salon. Give us a break, will you? I'm not mad. I'm mother. Maybe you could go out in the garden and help your father. That'll give you an appetite. Oh, when I was your age, yourself and your Uncle Jimmy were running the farm at home. Up at six every morning, and you wouldn't get the breakfast until you had the cows milked and the pigs fed. Ah, them were the days. I'm sure the way we were reared, we didn't even think of it as work. You'll get a bad back that way. Straighten up. Show me. It's all about balance. Make it easy for yourself. Let the spade do the work. <sighs> Try it now. This is what we've been doing all along. That's it. Now you're travelling. Have you given any thought as to what you might do after the leaving? I was talking to Jimmy Buck during the week. Said he might do with a hand in the garage during the summer. You wouldn't be interested, would you? I don't know. I wouldn't be much good with cars, like. Ah, you'd never know. You might have the knack. You could always learn. And the way things are going, you might be looking to get anything at all. You'd think about it, I won't you? Yeah, I suppose. Now, come on. We'll never get the garden done this way. The American kind of er on sale ele. She's in the other world, my daughter Samirla. Who the world beyond, my daughter Lesh. Now, for the general to integrate again, she's a type she. Type she, she's in spread, no spirit. Ach, to for the special to integrate again, Lesh. Can I call she a puka? Puka. That's the Guinness. Can this puka on? I was in can ele unlocked she. Unlocked she. A big no fucking shin galer grid and law moider. And when I was in Vixen Spritten Air, how in the name of God did you manage this? 15% maths. 25% for physics. What's gotten into your life? Have you nothing to say for yourself at all? You're throwing it all away. Go on away from me, get into class. I never wanted to do physics anyway. Come on, lads! Put the effort in for the last ten! Three, four, five, six, seven! <coughs> you take the false teeth out, Mick, I'll give you mouth to mouth. You're late again, Kelly. By God, I'll make you suffer. Get into line. Maybe a few press-ups will soften your cough. Right! Press-ups! <laughs> Shape up or ship out, Kelly. There's no room for slackers here. <laughs> What's the story? Oh, yeah. Glass of water there, please. Water? Yeah. Where's your wine? Mary, oh, she's around. She'll be way ahead of you, though, boy. Shut up, Merton, will you? Sorry. I may be off again. I have some study to do. See you later. Right. Listen, if you see Mary. Right on. See you after. Take it easy. Probably at home feeling sorry for himself. Do you have a fight or what? No, I'm meeting him later. Ah, he's the same as ever. Always moaning about something or other.
If it's not the dole, it's his father. Martin's all right. I wouldn't be here if he wasn't. He gets a hard time. He knows how to dish it out, too. What do you mean? No, I have a flager here. You never smoked it before. <coughs> I smoke it all the time. What are you doing over anyway? A break. I came for the fishing. <laughs> Taking it as it comes, you know. It's a strong stuff, isn't it? Smoke it all yourself, then. Martin's meant to be here half an hour ago. Something's never changed. What do you mean earlier about Martin giving you a hard time? Never there? mind what I said. I don't know. I, when we were living together, he was working really hard on the music, doing demos. And some people really liked him. Record company people, you know. He's good, all right. He'd only go so far and never follow it through. I think he settles for less to lose it. Come on, let's go and see if he's around him. Yeah. I thought you were looking for Martin. Come on. <laughs> All car ferry sailings have been stopped during the strike. <sighs> on the table, ma'am. See you later. Dear Mrs. and Mr. Kelly, it is as a last resort that I write to you concerning your son. He appears to be of above average intelligence. Above average intelligence, how are you? He's a complete lack of diligence and his attendance at classes were a disruptive influence on the other students. There is very little we can do for him now other than report his misdemeanours to you in the hope that you, as parents, can still exercise some influence. Your sincerely, Father O'Leary. He thought I was made to be a prison guard when I was there. You have this streak in you for it, all right? Kids. That was when the trains were still running. <laughs> Go on. We did. We'd get a load of old halfpennies and lay them along the tracks, and the train would come along and flatten them out. Big as pennies. We'd go down to all my brain's sweet shop. We'd get a load of penny sweets. She was so blind she couldn't even tell the difference. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. I can just see you in short dress. <laughs> I've got to sneeze. <laughs> Hello, Willie. Hello, Mrs. Kelly. Press an indoor. 
How's your father? Oh, he's fine, Mrs. Kelly, thanks. Good, good. There you go, Mr. Kelly, thanks for you. Come on, you'll have us late for maths. If you mess it up anymore, I won't be able to sell it. I'll have to keep it so, won't I? It's only 50p. It's only 50p, you won't miss it. Ah, fuck you, Phil. Are you inside? Well, Kay said the half ten and the reading was about Jesus running away from home and getting, coming back and saying it was about his father's work. Good man. Where are you off to? Come on, if you're coming. Don't open it here. Why? We get caught. Get away. You're a big boy, no, oh, Willie. Come on, Phil. <laughs> I thought they were all away. Yeah, but you're one next door. We'll tell them. Why don't you try it yourself? What are you trying to do, Little? We stood sharpened against you Sunday, Kelly, boy. You must be married. You're not still playing minor this year, are you? Yeah, I'm, yeah. What's it to you? I suppose you're as young as you feel. Want to be wearing your fucking helmet? Yeah. 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 off your man, could you not, yeah? I'm sure it's your man's point I'm drinking. My father chose to drown in blood rather than living shit. I thought you said you'd no money. What? Well, where'd you get the drink? Drink everywhere.
slice. Which one? Ruffy, you're a swamp up. You'll never learn. He stole our drinks! Only me. There was someone downstairs. It was only me, eh? It was down in the kitchen. Uh, I swear I'll never drink again after that. Look back here, wimp. Poor old Willie. He'd be locked up for months after this. So if I came over to the shop and I went past this morning, yeah. started shouting at me. Martin Hogan, you're a roughneck. You haven't heard the last of this. I had to take it over the bridge. <laughs> it's worse when I left this stop. I didn't ask for that. I'm out here to talk to you. Jesus Christ, Kenny, look at the stadium. You weren't up on Sunday. You using this? You haven't been up training all week. What's gotten into you, boy? Exams next week. I'm doing a lot of study. Huh. That's not the story I hear. The other lads have exams too. It doesn't stop them coming up. You got the racing place there. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Father O'Leary wouldn't agree uh, with you. What would that holy Joe know about it? Good luck. <clears throat> well, whatever about the training, there's always the match on Sunday. You'll be up for it, won't you? I don't know. Look, there'll be county selectors there. If you play well, you'll make the minors you have it in you. I can see it now. Come September, the All-Ireland. Myself and your father sitting pretty above in the Hogan stand with the bishop. <laughs> Ta ana ahas arum us. Ta ana ahas arum on corn shaw a glocha. <laughs> Holy Joe can brush up your Irish for your speech when you're lifting the cup. I'll tell you one thing, boy. If you make the county minors, you won't have to worry about exams. I've put young fellas through my hands. No education to speak of. They sailed into jobs in the bank. Now you'll be taken care of, all right. The GAA looks after its own. So, you see a Sunday then, huh? I don't know, man. Now, look, the look, 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 look. Water under the bridge and all that. I only ever gave you a hard time because I know you have it in you. The first time I saw you as a young fella, I remember thinking, you, you had your father's style about you. Huh? I've had you marked down for a long time. You'll come up someday, won't you? You will, of course. One other thing. You have it in you to go all the way. You will too. But, uh, take my advice. Go easy on that old stuff. Sunday.
Lucy. This is over. I'm saving my love for you and you and you and you. I don't stay out late. Where would I go? I'm a hop about eight. Me and my radio ain't misbehaving. Saving all my love for you. Wedding anniversary. We were married 25 years ago today. Came home from work and they were all pissed. I know for certain the one that I love. I'm through with my kids. I'm thinking of. He was saying you haven't been up training for the for the past week. She wasn't such a hypocrite. I might turn up more often. Jesus, I know what he's like. I played with him in the old days, but I don't want him coming in to walk to me. All by myself. Uh, Mrs. Tom, winning the last cock when you have the beatings of the shit. I don't know, I might go up. You and you and you and you. Like your corner, in the corner, don't go nowhere. Why do I care? Your kisses. Jimmy Buck said he could take you under the garage for a few months, try you out, like. I don't know, Dad. You wouldn't have to stay there forever, just until something better comes along. You might like it after a while. I wouldn't like to walk in a greasy garage. I know, but I mean, if you took it, it's like... Get up and dance. You! Yippee! I don't stay out late. Where would I I just stay home nights. Me and that darn radio. for the second half, Kelly. I want a bit more effort, lads. Now, we've the baitings of this lot. With a bit more effort, we can bait them all the way back to Mitchellstown. But we must be merciless with them. Take no fucking prisoners. Oh, excuse me, Father. If you make more space for us, if you can take your guy out to the wing, right? And you play off him. There'll be more in your line to listen, Kelly. You think it was a camogie match the way you're playing? You're like a young one, afraid of getting a ladder in a tight. We're not getting any ball in the forward line. What are we supposed to do? We're losing at midfield. Shut up! I'm in charge here. And if you came up training, maybe you'd get more of the ball. You're lucky to be on the team at all. If you don't pull your socks up, you're coming off. Shall be warned. Right, lads. The first ball that comes near you, get in there and swing your stick. Let them know what it's going to be like. If they want to catch the ball, there'll be plenty of time for goals afterwards. Go on now! Come on, go on, go on. Come on now, lads! An extra effort for the last half hour! I'll be behind you to the throne, so leave us have it right. Get it out. Let them see what you're made of! Show them up for my men can go, boys! Get 
Gotti some ball. Huh? Doesn't come up playing at all. Now he's telling everyone what to do. Coming like that, lads. Get back in the corner. Don't get a bit of uppity, Kelly. <laughs> Boring me. Shoot! What I said, shoot! Rings around you. How do you know about us? You're gonna mark them, mark them. What are you doing here? Spill this blood. Just leave me alone, please. Maybe you should get a scene, too. Go away, please. Look, Rosie. He's had to do his fucking everything. Everything in this fucking... Everyone! I thought I gave you clean underwear yesterday. What are you looking for? I'll get it for you. My rucksack. Have you seen it? I might have. What do you want it for? Isn't it today you're meant to be starting your exams? This morning? Yeah. I'm not doing my exams. Not doing the exams? I'm going away. Philip! The leaving cert! I'm going on the boat tonight. But you can't just... Does your father know about this? Your exams? 
You didn't think to ask anyone? No, because I knew it would be like this. Like what? Like this. You ungrateful little... Oh. If you only knew all the sacrifices I've had to make for you, and this is the thanks I give... Smoking now, are you? I suppose. You better give me one of them. You don't smoke. I filched the other one off you, but you never seem to notice. So you're going then? I have to get out there. I suppose there's no talking to you. I'll get you something. I need this for when the money starts rolling in. Thanks, Deb, I have money. Willie's calling up for the record player later. I'll, I'll walk you down to the bus. Will you, um... Have a word with your mother before you go? She's... Very disappointed. Mr. Boss. I just met Willie earlier. Why didn't you tell us? This is me, Dad. Hello, Mr. Kelly. I'm Mary. You're not Tommy Hartnett's young one. I am, yeah. I used to play cards with your father, God rest him. You used to be jumping up on me knee when you were, when you were that high. <laughs> were you in London too? Yeah, I was for a while. I suppose there's nothing to keep you here. I'll be late for work. Well, I'll be off. 
Remember, uh, we'll always be here if you want us. Whatever you think. Here, I have a few dresses for you. Here. I've decided not to go back for a few months, so you can take care of my place, okay? Thanks, Mary. Uh, I needed someone to look after my stuff anyway. And listen, take no shit from Mick, okay? He's always trying to move into my place. Martin wouldn't come. He's just being Martin. He said to give this to you. He said the neck is walked or something. Say thanks to him for me. Say goodbye to him. Look after yourself, huh? It's not a bed of roses. Skip it shitless. Oh, I nearly forgot. It's the key. It's the house. Anywhere you can get it, boy. Sometimes, what seems like a lucky escape turns out to be a bad break. Ah. 